Hey guys, just want to go over some quick stuff real quick with you on these 2003 to 2006 Chevy Tahoe, Chevy Suburban, Yukon, Yukon XL. This does not apply quite the same as the Denali and the Escalade. You might be able to play with it and this might help you with those as well. Uh, the council teardown is quite a bit different on those because they're just fancier. Um, they should also work with a lot of your trucks with the full center consoles in them from 03 to 06, GMCs and Chevys, as far as if you have a factory Bose amplifier. The reason why I want to go over this is because there's so many videos out there. There's so many different things. This is the quickest, easiest way you can do this. Um, pretty self-explanatory. There is a guy that said cut holes here. He did not have them cut perfect, great advice, but you want to cut further over here, almost in line with this one is where this bottom front one is. Terrible design Chevy, but other than that, if it's the one downflaw I have on my Chevy, then I don't really care. Okay, so, very simple as far as tear down, if you don't know how to do it, pop this guy out, your cup holders, super simple to just pops right out um if you've got a lot of pop and stuff maybe get a plastic pry tool under there and get one side out clean it up when you're done obviously i'm going to clean this up because this has never been removed so this is disgusting um so anyway as far as this goes this is super simple right here's your factory plug for your bose amplifier and your lighter plug-ins up here if you ever unplug that and wonder why these don't work anymore plug those back in um what you want to do it's super simple get yourself just a nice little short seven millimeter ratcheting wrench um if you've got really big hands you're probably going to hate life find somebody with a little bit smaller hands you can get to those two bolts right here all day long there's a couple inches of room and just ratchet them out it is going to take you a couple extra minutes than drilling holes here um except for when you look straight down you, you're technically that bolts up here a little bit further so you're gonna have you're gonna run into some little issues and unless you take most of this stuff apart and out of here and possibly cut this out i think the guy did cut this part out i don't believe in cutting the crap out of my vehicles so i'm gonna leave that alone um so like i said just take a ratcheting wrench you can put it down here you've got more than enough room down here because there's another hole up here so you've got all the room to sit here and ratchet it back and forth and then at the very end you can just finger it out of there you should be able to do that if you've worked on cars and then get your back two ones out here these back two guys get those guys out you will have to bend this bracket down right here you'll bend that down just a little bit by hand pull the amplifier out bend that back up and you're done like i said when it comes to these guys simple do this bolt that bolt to get your center console out you do not need to remove the lid obviously it's not that bad to get into then you have your two top bolts once that guy once the council's out you have your two top bolts and then you have your four bottom bolts behind your rear cup holder so right behind that guy right there <laughs> once you do that bend it back and uh keep on trucking that's if you want to replace it or remove it in this case this is totally bypassed so i don't need the factory bose amp whatsoever i'm selling it to a friend so because his took a shit if you have any questions comment below